large. It was, you know, you, you, it was huge. It was this relic. It was, it was a dungeon. A couple of places in there where the smell, 400 years later, the smell is still there. Realize that we're literally standing on DNA and it's part of the floor. Uh, those pieces were It was difficult. You know, students tend to have a little bit of knowledge about the Middle Passage, you know, and about slavery in the U U.S., not a whole lot. But um, not many know, I find, about what happened on the Africa side, you know. And, um, and even to this day, we don't, we don't know numbers because there aren't statistics. We don't know how many people died being marched to the castles. We don't know exactly how many died in the castles. Um, there just isn't a lot known, but um, it's important to know as much as we can about what happened over there. You sit in classes a lot and you don't remember mo most of the time you do, but something like that, I, I hope that nobody will forget it and I don't think they, they do. I'd say there are certain parts that I think will strike everybody a little bit differently. It just went from bad to worse. Claustrophobic doesn't begin to describe it. Think about how many years it's been since it was actively used in that way and it's still there. I mean, it's not like the windows are closed. I mean, there's open air going through and the smell is there. Knowing that we were going to that day, I, I was, um, I remember the first time I went in there. I actually went to school in Cape Coast. I thought it would be easier. Um, going back the second time. Um, so I, I was like, I knew what to expect, uh, but I was also wondering like, was it gonna be any different or easier? It made me realize why I never wanted to go in there because it is uncomfortable and confronting the past is, is really um, a hard thing to do. Would have to make their way through the tunnel they walk through till they get to the goal of no return. I took everything in a lot differently because, I mean, for one, I never thought that I'd be going to Africa with a group of predominantly white people. Not saying that our group wasn't diverse, but I just thought that I would have like my community of people that I have here that I can kind of rely to and rely on for different, you know, things that come up being a black woman. So going through that experience it just kind of hit me different in the sense that I knew that in another time or in another place that could have been me. Um, and that, and in another time and another place that was my family. And so I think it's just different because it just allows you to kind of visualize everything and kind of put yourself in the, that situation. But in 1471 was the first time. Think about these large, muscular, men whom after spending several months there had been whittled down to a size in which um, they could actually fit through that very small opening. The itty bitty space to leave the dungeon into the slave ships and how small the opening was. I just couldn't believe it. Like I couldn't believe um, that I was in that space. I saw the resolve, like the resilience of my ancestors, like people who survived, like people who fought. And because some people would like for us to believe that, oh, why didn't they fight back? People fought. You could see all the signs of one life. Like people fought. They fought to the point of death. They wouldn't give up. So if that is not strength, then, then what is it? So, uh, they wouldn't trust the Portuguese. What if they poisoned us? As a country, we've done a disservice um, to truly educating around this experience and, and what it was. And so it gets whitewashed. I cannot fully think or even understand the atrocities that happened there, but it's nothing like being there um, and kind of feeling that, that emotion and the heavy weight. Because you can't unsee it.
You can't unlearn it. You can't unknow it. But it's something I think everyone should experience. It's just a, a really difficult experience for, for anyone who, who does it. But it's important. It's really important because we really need to know that history. I hope it will mo motivate them to be activists for human rights, you know, and civil rights um, in the future and to, and to teach others. Um, that, that's, that's what I hope. I'm not saying each one of us is going to go save the world, but together people do make changes. Like, together people do make changes. So that for me is the, um, is the reason why people, um, students need to go, people need to go. For my experience now, to be living in a time and place where I can get an education, I can travel to these places where my ancestors were displaced from, I, I have that opportunity for now because of them because of the people who died in those places, the people who traveled to this country, and eventually, you know, I was born. All those steps were because of those, my ancestors in that castle. So I think having those conversations now and kind of showing people like, look, it's more than just a page on a textbook, like this was real life.